This video explains how to use the quick load posting screen. Use this method to post a load when you are either not on the enterprise version of the Full Circle TMS software, or if you are on the enterprise version, you just quickly want to post a load without entering all of the load details. There are two ways to find the quick post button. First, go to the orders tab and the orders left menu, and you will find the quick post button. Or you can go to the network tab and the load board left menu to find the quick post button. So let's do a quick posted load. I will go to the orders tab, to the orders on the left menu, and I will click the quick post button, which opens up the quick post. Watch how quickly I can post a load. I put in my reference number. Let's say my pickup city is Chicago 60606. The pickup is going to be Monday at 8 a.m. and blank 8 is Monday at 8 a.m. I'm going to California 90210. It's going to give me ETA as a single and a team driver. I click on the single ETA. It gives me my delivery date and time. Say pieces are four pieces, 400 pounds. Dims are 44 by 44 by 44, and it's stackable. And I'm using a cargo van. And I want to pick some attributes of dock eye, team service, and tracking with GPS. Save that. Click post. I have quickly posted an order. It is now on the load board. People would have received emails and they would have seen that on the load board. The rest of this video will explain the details of the load posting screen. The reference number is any number that is important to you and your company. It might be your pro number from your TMS or it could be your shipper's reference number. This number will appear on the posted load, the posted load emails and the bid board. Clicking the order attributes link will open up the list of order attributes. These are specific things about the order that the carrier must agree to before they can bid on a shipment. For example, if you require team service, the carrier will not be able to submit their bid unless they verify they have a team of drivers in the truck. Any order attributes you choose will appear at the bottom right of the screen. Your company might be set up on full circle with multiple business units. If so, make sure the business unit is associated with your brokerage division. For the pickup location, enter a city, state, or zip code. The system will verify the pickup location and validate the spelling for you. The pickup date time is the recommended or scheduled pickup date time. Note there are many shortcuts available to speed up order entry. By clicking the letter I in the circle, you can see all the different shortcuts available. For example, M equals Monday, T equals Tuesday, X equals tomorrow. 5-12 is May 12. You can also enter a time using the 24-hour clock. So T blank 20 would be next Tuesday at 8 p.m. 5-12 blank 16 would be May 12 at 1600. The time zone shown will be your time zone based on your user profile. If the location is in a different time zone, the system will show you the local time zone below the scheduled date time. You can also click on the calendar and choose a date time from the calendar box. Beside the date time is a verb that can explain the importance of the date time. Most companies use the verb protect to mean must arrive by, but you can choose any verb from the drop down menu that best describes the date time. This verb appears on the posted load email and the load board so carriers know the importance of the date time you have set. Clicking the Ready Now button sets the pickup date time to be the next even half hour and sets the default verb to Ready Now. You can enter a delivery city state or a zip code. The system will verify the delivery location and validate the spelling. It will then do the following. First, calculate the distance from the pickup to the delivery based on routed miles. Then calculate the ETA for both a single and team driver based on your selected truck size. Note that you can define your own set of truck sizes, how fast each can travel, how many hours they can run before needing sleep, how many hours they need to break for sleep, and how many hours to buffer the calculation to allow for the truck to arrive and load before getting on the road. All this information is used to help calculate an ETA based on your company standards. Finally, it will show the tolls you will experience on that route based on the selected truck size. You can click on the toll amount to see the various tolls for the selected route. 
There are several ways to quickly enter the recommended or scheduled delivery date time. Just like the pickup date time, you can use the shortcuts available to speed order entry. For example, F blank 18 would be Friday at 1800. You can also click either of the calculated date times for single or team and that date time will be copied into the delivery date time field. You can click the deliver direct button that will automatically select the single driver ETA date time and set the date time verb to deliver direct. You can also click on the calendar and choose a date time from the calendar box. If the selected date time is before the calculated date time, the calculated date time will turn red to warn you that based on calculated ETA, you might not make the selected date time. Just like the pickup stop, beside the delivery date time is a verb that can explain the importance of the date time. Most companies use the verb protect to mean must arrive by, but you can choose from any verb in the drop down menu that best describes the date time. This verb also appears on the posted load email and the posted load board so carriers know the importance of the date time you have set. You can expand an area of the screen by clicking the stop notes earliest latest link. Do this if you need to put in specific stop notes or you need to put in window times. The notes and the window times will appear on the posted load emails. The dates and times work exactly the same in terms of shortcuts. You can collapse the area of the screen once it has been opened by clicking the stop notes earliest latest link. Enter the piece count. The drop down list defaults to pieces, but you can choose anything from the drop down list option. The selected drop down value will appear on the posted load email. Enter the total weight. The drop down list defaults to pounds, but you can choose anything from the drop down list option. The selected drop down value will appear on the posted load email. Enter the dimensions of the freight as length, width, and height. If there are different dimensions for each piece of freight, enter the largest dimensional value and then use the notes area to explain all other dimensions. The drop down list defaults to inches, but you can choose anything from the drop down list option. The selected drop down value will appear on the posted load email. If the freight is stackable, click this button. The stackable setting is used to determine a recommended truck size and will appear in the posted load email. From the drop down, choose your truck size for the shipment. Changing the truck size can also change the routed miles, tolls, and ETA calculations. So be careful and remember to update the delivery date time if necessary. The system will look at the pieces, weight, dimensions, and stackable flag and cube out the freight and compare it to the capacity of your defined truck classes. From that, it will suggest a truck size. If you click the suggested truck size, it will move that to the selected truck size. Changing the truck size can also change the routed miles, tolls, and ETA calculations. So be careful and remember to update the delivery date time if necessary. Full Circle TMS uses PC Miler Practical to determine the distance. If you want to use a different number of miles on the posted load, make sure you enter it here. The override distance will appear on the posted load details and emails. The order attribute link and selected attribute list appears here. You can add or remove any attributes that you want the carrier to verify when they bid on your shipment. Remember, they cannot submit a bid online unless they agree they have all your selected attributes. The default of posted load type comes from your user profile. If you normally post a particular type of freight, you can save yourself some time by changing your default in the user profile. Select the type of freight you are posting as this will make it easier for carriers to respond to posted loads that make sense to the kind of trucks they have. Expedite Hotshot is the predominant type of freight on the full circle load board. Posting Note is a freeform note area where you can post any specific note about this order. In your user profile, you can set up to five freeform notes to make it easier to have some of your more common notes in a drop down box. For example, load in hand means you have the freight and need to get it covered. The posting note will appear in bold and red on the posted load emails and screens. If you know how much you are willing to pay a carrier for the posted load, you can enter it here. This will appear on the posted load emails and the screens. The default value of the currency comes from your user profile. If you enter a value for can pay and you toggle the book it now to yes, then the emails and the load screen will show a book it now link. The first carrier to click the link will 
automatically get the load awarded to them, send an email to the person who clicked the link to tell them they won the load, it will dispatch the load to them, and all the other carriers who placed a bid will get an email saying the load is no longer available and to release their truck. The timer expires, leaves the posted load on the load board for a period of time before it expires, meaning it no longer appears on the load board. The default timer expires is a setting in your user profile to make it faster to post a load. Setting all bids must have truck location to yes forces the company bidding to enter the city and state of their truck location. The system will use this information to calculate the distance from the truck to the pickup location and show you this information in the bid screen. The default for this setting comes from your user profile. Setting email preferred carrier contacts to yes means that carrier contacts in your preferred carrier list will get an email about this posted load. This allows you to send the posted load email to anyone outside the subscriber list of Full Circuit TMS. Basically, you can eliminate the need to use any other load board if you build up your own list of trusted carriers and contacts. The default for this setting comes from your user profile. Send emails to carrier types is a way to target your posted load to a subset of your carriers. In your preferred carrier database, you can set a carrier to have one or more modes of transportation. Then, when posting a load, you can instruct the system to only send it to that subset of carriers. For example, send it only to your Tier 1 hazmat and truckload carriers. Full Circle TMS can also post this load to outside load boards like DAT, Internet Truck Stop, or TMS version 2. Contact support at fullcircletms.com if you would like to be able to automatically post to any of these other load boards at the same time. By default, the post load email will come from your email address in your user profile. However, you can modify this to be any other user in your system. Click the Post button to post the load. This will do the following. Collect all the email addresses based on your email preferred carrier contacts and modes of transportation settings. Post the load data on the Full Circle TMS load board. Post the load to any outside load board you chose. Email all the people with the load posting details you provided and send you an email of the posted load. Once the load is posted, you can go to the Network tab and the Bids on our Loads left menu and see the summary of the yes and no bids for your shipments. Click the gear and select List Bids to see all the bids. From each bid, you can click the gear and select one of View Bid, Award Bid, or Counter Offer. Remember, you can click the column heading to sort so you can sort the bids from lowest to highest and you can sort the truck from closest to furthest. This grid gives you a simple way to see all the bids on your shipments and make an informed decision. Every user can define their own settings to speed up load postings. To do this, go to the System tab, then Manage Users on the left menu, then find your user profile and drill into your user profile. Select the Settings options at the top of the screen. Expand the User Order and Load Posting Defaults group. Remember, when looking at settings, you can click on the blue setting name and it will provide documentation on each setting and all the options for each setting. Here is the setting for the default load posting type. Here is where you can store up to five different custom posted notes that can be used in the drop down on the posted load screen. This is where you can store your posted load default currency. This is where you would set your default posting expire minutes. This is where you would set the default for all bids must have truck location. And this is where you would set email preferred carrier contacts. In summary, every user should set their user defaults. And then when posting a load, set the pickup location, date, time, and verb. Set the delivery location, date, time, and verb. Put in your pieces, weight, dimensions, and stackable flag. Select your truck size. Choose your attributes. Post the load. Thanks for watching how to use the quick load posting screen.